Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib, and we're taking a look today at something that I hope will clean my screen on my Mac here. Look how filthy this is, it's embarrassing. I was looking around on Amazon and I found this stuff called Woosh 2.0. I did open the box just to see what was inside. Uh, but this stuff is what they say Apple uses to clean computers at the Apple Store. So we'll see if it can uh, clean my MacBook display here. And I've got a few other things I may want to clean with this as well. And we're going to take a closer look and see if this tech hygiene is going to solve my problem. And I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for this with my own funds. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what is inside the box. And then we'll see if this stuff can clean my MacBook screen. Now, I guess they sell this in a couple of different configurations. I bought like the starter kit here. And apparently they now have a refill kit so you don't have to toss the bottle out when you're done. The instructions look pretty straightforward. You power down your TV set in this case or your computer and you wait for the device to cool off. We'll, we'll kind of skip through that part. Uh, we'll use a dry microfiber cloth to remove the dust from the screen and then we'll spray the whoosh on a cloth that is inside the box two to three times and then wipe the screen down and then polish it off with the dry side of the micro uh, fiber cloth that they include in the box. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. We've got our instruction sheet, which largely mirrors what we just read on the side of the box here. This is an orange microfiber cloth that you use for the actual cleaning. And they say it doesn't matter what side of the cloth you use. So there you go. Actually, it looks like there's two of them in here. So this is like the little smaller version. Yeah, it's the same thing. So this I might wipe down the screen with and then we'll clean it with the larger one here. So let me go and give you my overhead. I'm going to try to clean the keyboard on this thing too. What happens with this computer is that I often uh, set it up on my little counter in the kitchen where I sit in the morning and I think the stuff from the stove gets kind of on the screen and keyboard and greases it up a little bit more. So this is a smaller thing that you might use on a phone or something like that. And then the business end here is the pump and the bottle. And apparently this one comes pre-mixed, but they sell these uh, refills where you get a little bottle of concentrate and then you mix it with some distilled water, which they recommend for the best results. So let me get this thing put together here and we'll clean off my screen and see if this stuff works. All right, so we're gonna start off by doing what they instruct, which is to get the dust and some of the loose particles off the screen here. So I'm just going to use this cloth to get that off of here. And as you can see, a lot of this is like caked on stuff. And I'm guessing we're gonna have to really scrub away here a little bit when we get going. And now what I'm gonna do um, is spray this onto the microfiber cloth. You don't wanna spray it directly on the computer. And what I'm gonna do is kinda of go back a little bit here so I don't get it on the computer with uh, some ricochets here. So we'll just spray it off. It kinda of sprays like Windex, nothing crazy here. So I've got my two or three sprays now once I got the, the pump primed here. So it's definitely a bit wet. It does come through. I can feel the moisture on the other side of the cloth. So you may want to do it on one portion of the cloth and dry off with another. And what I'll do now is just kind of get this stuff onto the screen. And it looks like it's getting this stuff off pretty good here, actually. I'm pretty surprised. And then we'll do the other side and just kind of polish it off a bit. But so far, so good. And it looks like it's evaporating away pretty quickly. So it doesn't have alcohol on it, but it's definitely, whatever they're using evaporates pretty quick. And going with the dry portion of the cloth here, again, it's hard to see it on camera. So I may try to give you my overhead view here, maybe give you a better look at it. Um, it does appear to be getting this stuff off pretty good. I do have a little bit of a, of a haze on the screen here, but I think if I do another another spritz and another spray here, it might do okay. But it's certainly looking a lot better than it did before. I'll give you the other look at it here. And all that stuff is gone. It certainly looks a lot clearer. And I think what I'm gonna do is give it one more spritz and then we'll see how it looks when I'm done with that. All right, so I did two cycles here of cleaning the screen and I have to say it looks really, really good. There's a couple of little spots that I might have to scrub a little bit better, but this is what it looks like now and this is what it looked like before. 
So I think it is working as advertised and the screen here is looking a heck of a lot better. What I want to look at next though is the keyboard and whether or not I can get some of this greasy, icky stuff off of my keyboard here. So let's uh, take another application and see what it'll do on plastic. All right, so we're gonna go to town on this keyboard here and give it a little bit more pressure. What I'm finding with this Mac sometimes is that it turns itself on even if you don't push the power button like I did just now. <laughs> so I've got a short window here before these keys start registering. But we'll give that a good wipe there. It's looking a little better, but still not perfect. I think it is pretty nice on the metal here, but if I look at um, the keyboard itself, we still have a lot of the grease that we had on there before. So I'll definitely need to entertain some suggestions for uh, getting these keys situated. Uh, maybe alcohol or something might work better on these keys than they would on the screen itself, but this is definitely not clearing up the keyboard. But this is advertised as a screen cleaner, not a keyboard cleaner, so I think we'll need something a little different for the keyboard. All right, let's try another screen here. I've got my wife's MacBook Air, and this one's looking really nasty here. And actually, we've got some dirt on the metal here that we can also see if it can get rid of. This looks like it's all caked on. So let's do the screen first. I think we know what's going to happen here because we had a good experience on the first run with a screen that looked very similar to this one. So you can see all the caked on junk here. She's got a lot, of, a lot more dirt like in between the cracks here as well. So that might require a little bit extra stuff, but same deal as before. We'll do two or three sprays and just start wiping it down. She does have some more caked on stuff here versus the other Mac, but looks like it's doing a pretty good job here of getting this stuff off. And then we'll do the wipe down here and similar result. Yeah, what's nice is that when I do the, the second portion where you kind of wipe down with the dry portion of the cloth, it really does get rid of the streaking very quickly. You'll see a little bit of streaking when you first put it together. And if you got a lot of dirt on there, I think a second run like we did before really helps. But this is certainly looking a lot better. And I think another Another run like we did before, I think will work pretty well. But let's take a look and see about this stuff on the metal here. And so I'll try to get this portion cleaned. Let me spray down a couple more times here. And again, you always want to spray the cloth, not the computer directly. And this is on the aluminum. And it looks like it came right off. So it looks pretty good. And this one, like my other one, has a pretty greasy set of keys. And as I'm doing this, I'm live streaming and a lot of my viewers are saying that, you know, sometimes the keys get worn down a bit too. So even if you put a good cleaner on there, the plastic itself could be uh, what's being worn down due to use. And both of us are always typing on our computers here. So it's entirely possible that that's what happened here. But it looks like it's able to get the stuff caked on the aluminum here off pretty nicely. So it will work really nicely across the trackpad and on the metal surfaces. And of course, this is not just limited to Macs. If you have computers with similar materials like glass and aluminum or other types of metals, I think this stuff is going to work pretty well. So my overall opinion of this, just kind of playing around with it for the for few minutes that I have, is pretty good. This stuff really got my screen clean quicker and better than I've seen with some of the other uh, screen cleaning things that I've been playing around with. So I am very comfortable, I think, recommending this. You don't need all that much for each cleaning. So this big bottle, I think, is going to last me for a while. I don't see any expiration date on it, so I don't think it's going to go bad on you. Uh, maybe give it a little, little shake here every once in a while when you go ahead to use it in case things get separated, but it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, one thing I will see me having to do is washing the microfiber cloth. They, let, they do say you can put it in the washing machine. Uh, there are some restrictions about drying it, of course, and using fabric softener, but uh, you will probably need to clean this cloth on occasion because you are transferring dirt from your computer <laughs> to the cloth. So this will get gunked up and you don't want to use this to spread dirt when you're trying to clean it off. So you may want to pick up a few extra microfiber cloths like this one if you intend to clean a lot of screens, especially if you're in a school or something where you've got a lot to work on here. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with this stuff. It seems to work as advertised, doesn't require all that much elbow grease to get the stuff off, and I'm pretty happy with it. That's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Brian Parker, Hot Sauce and Video Games, 
Baby Metal Fox God, Tom Albrecht, Amda Brown, Matt Zagaya, and Tech Time with Eric. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.